morning. It's a chilly Monday morning here in Nairobi. I'm in Upper Hill at Kasnep Towers. There's a shoot regarding Kasnep College and I'll be doing makeup for about eight people, eight ladies actually. The makeup is supposed to be very mild and very subtle. This is not corporate and it's also not full plan. It's somewhere in between, but at the end of the day, uh, the cast members are supposed to have very minimal uh, and subtle makeup because they are supposed to pose as students. The shoot is about the establishment advertising some of their causes. So that's what will be happening today. So right now I'm about to head for breakfast and then now start off with the first cast member for the shoot. Today's tip I wanted to talk about asking questions. Sometimes you can get a client who calls you probably last minute or in less than 24 hours where there's no booking in order. Someone just, or probably somebody has referred you. Always ask questions, especially if it's a set where they're going to be cast members or if it's a wedding, whatever it is. Always ask questions. How many people are going to be on set or how many people are you doing makeup for? What type of makeup are you doing? Is it something intense? Is it very mild basic makeup? What are there extra uh, things that you need to do on the makeup? Because sometimes someone may tell you, I need just simple basic makeup. But when you get there, somebody starts telling you, uh, I wanted uh, half of the face to have like an African print, or I want, I want one side of the face to have some rhinestones, or someone tells you, I want half the face to have glitters. Ask as many questions like for this particular shoot, it was last minute, even though it's somebody that I've worked with that I trust, but still I had to ask questions. How many people will be on set? Uh, how many ladies? Because sometimes it could be both men and women. Because uh, the makeup that you do for women is not the same for men. You, they're totally two different things. So get to know that because ladies' makeup also takes time. And if it's, in it's, if it's intense makeup, it's going to take even longer. Get to know how long the shoot will be. Uh, is it a whole day shoot? Is it half day? Will you be needed for touch up? Are you doing the makeup then leave? Those are some of the questions that you need to know so that never assume anything because the moment you discuss with that client and you get on set they, That's when now there's normally miscommunication. Someone tells you, you know, I thought or this. No, do not make assumptions Ask as many questions as possible. Then you as the makeup artist depending on the budget and depending what is needed of you You get to make the decision if you're taking in the job or you wouldn't or sometimes when you ask somebody what's your budget you can get excited someone tells you i'm going to give you 10k or 15,000 or 20,000 or 30,000 and then when you get on set you find about 20 to 30 people that are doing makeup on ask as many questions as possible before you even make any booking <laughs> So we're done shooting a few scenes, now we're headed for lunch, then what is remaining, I think it's about one or two scenes, that's an outdoor shoot and then it will be a wrap.
Sunbach. This is the one with the dope. We're recording in five, four, three, two, one. Action. It's a wrap. We are about to go and, and, and have and have what, Madam? Tea. Update her. Tea. <laughs> we are about to have tea. Samosa. Hey. hey. And <laughs> Set life. Life of a makeup artist. Eh? Welcome to my world. Anyway, <laughs> it's a rough period. <laughs> so we are having tea. For those who know me, I love tea. This is the moment I have been waiting for. <laughs> yes. Have tea, then head home. Bye.